Good morning. Today we're going to go in and check out Dollar General. It's been a while since we've been here. We're going to see how the prices are, see if they've gone up at all, check the shelves, and some of the things you guys have asked about. Let's get to it. So first deal I wanted to show, as soon as we come into Dollar General here, they have three 12, you can get three 12 packs, three for 11 Pepsi 12 packs. That's the best deal we've seen in a while. That was just the Pepsi products, but I did want to show that the Coca-Cola products, buy two, get one free. This deal ends Saturday, April 2nd. So if you're watching this video, maybe check out Dollar General today and you might get this deal. Another reason I wanted to come to Dollar General today is, one, a lot of you guys have been talking about Dollar General in the comments and some of the sales that they have. Also, if you buy something at Dollar General and get a receipt, they have a deal to where you, if you come in on a Saturday and spend $25, you get a $5 off coupon with your receipt. So that is something to keep in mind. Makes it a pretty good deal. I'm noticing some things that are a little expensive, but uh, like the butternut bread here is $2.80, but we've seen that that's gone up to $2.69 in the major grocery chain stores. So only 10 cents more, 11 cents more. There are a lot of things that are pricey here, but you do have to keep an eye out for the different sales. They usually have multiple different sales, like these muffins are two for six, normally three twenty-five here. So something to keep in mind, they have the little donuts here, two for six. Look for all the price cut sales. Four twenty-five for a big pack of Nutty Buddies. Um, you know, seems like a pretty, 24 of them for four forty-five seems like a pretty decent deal. They do have a variety of crackers at this particular Dollar General. Uh, this is the one that we would normally shop at. We don't shop at Dollar General a lot, but I wanted to come here because like I said before, I know a lot of our viewers across the country do come to Dollar General. They do have the chicken biscuits. Somebody was asking about these. We haven't seen these in a long time. Also, they do have the Nabisco premium saltines. I'm gonna go ahead and buy a box because we haven't been able to find them anywhere. Uh, $3.15, that's a pretty good price. We've been seeing these go up over $4. One nice thing about Dollar General, too, is they have a lot of dollar options, like these dollar cookies. I've tried these sugar wafers before. They're pretty good. We've gotten some mixed reviews on Co Clover Valley products, but uh, some of these are some pretty good options. These oatmeal cookies, never tried those before, but $1.25 for eight of them. They do have the Keebler Fudge cookies here. Two for five dollars, which is a pretty good deal because these have been like three nineteen at Kroger. Um, they have had some sales on Keebler lately, but one thing I haven't seen are these M and M ones, these M and M cookies, uh, and they're all two for five. So that's a pretty good deal. One of the comments that we get when we're at Dollar Tree is a lot of these candies. People can't believe that they've gone up to a dollar twenty-five. I agree with you. And these are a dollar, still a dollar general, so this is good to see. Plus some things I've never seen before. I love orange slices. Um, haven't been eating them as much, trying to stay away from some of this stuff, but uh, <laughs> uh, they do have them here. A lot of different options for a dollar. Bit of a strange layout here at Dollar General, but you know what? If you're going to save a few bucks, sometimes you just got to kind of look around. I got to say, they have a very good amount of dog food. A lot of dry dog food, plus... I mean, they probably have as much canned goods here of dog food as they do at Kroger. I mean, this is crazy. You know, it's good to see these things. Another reason we come to these stores is maybe not so much for the value, but just having another option of being able to find some of the things that we need. Like cat food and dog food has been kind of out the door at the main grocery stores. So, you know, it's always a good option. They also have a lot of cat food. I mean, you know, it's a smaller store. It's not a big grocery store, but we are seeing... You know they do have some cat food not much i mean obviously it's going to be low it's low all across the country but they are the same price as they are at kroger for fancy feast uh, those are 80 cents at kroger now okay 70 cents for friskies um that's same price as kroger um 55 cents a can for nine lives which we haven't seen nine lives we usually find nine lives in other stores like we saw some at Big Lots, we've seen some at some of the value stores, so definitely a lot cheaper. So it is a little more, $7.50 for half of what you would get of the 20 pound at Walmart or Kroger, right? Because those are 20 pounds, uh, $10.98 for the 20 pound at Kroger, 11 or at Walmart, $11.99 for the one at Kroger for the same thing. 
but 750 for half of it and yeah it's a little more but it does keep you from having to go to another store also they do have a multi cat the forever pals uh, we did get some comments on this when we were here a while back people were saying it's great cat litter your cats love it 525 and it's 10 pounds so five dollars and 25 cents you could get two of these and it would be equivalent to a 20 pound of the tidy cats at walmart actually a little cheaper they have all these little toys and everything got some stuff for well not much for a dollar but they got the little chew toys and play toys got some collars one thing we've been seeing a little bit of a lack of is storage containers we get a lot of comments that um, a lot of people across the country have been trouble finding food containers and stuff obviously some of the bigger ones they're not going to say well i don't know they got they got some decent sized ones here you know maybe a little more expensive but they got the rubber seal on them and stuff good to store stuff um, and this is a cheap option. Dollar for these, for a couple of these. Uh, they have the rubber made, which we use a lot. They're, you know, they're a little more pricey, but good quality. I gotta say, this particular Dollar General seems like it's doing a pretty good job of keeping prices at, at a good, you know, we've seen some things go up here, but I feel like it's still a, a little, some a lot lower than what we're finding at Kroger and Meyer and some of the grocery stores. So I can see why a lot of you guys out there have been shopping at Dollar General to get things like pop. You know, this is, uh, yeah, it's like a one and a half liter, but three for three dollars. You know, these are almost two dollars in the grocery stores now. And uh, two liters, 235 for one here, which are 229 at Kroger. I mean, usually there are sales, but two for four, that makes it still two dollars a piece. So that's, that's not too bad like dollar tree dollar general does have a lot of like kitchen utensils and stuff for a dollar um you know it's nice to have an extra you know sometimes they break they got the wooden ones here for a dollar see that yep feels like real wood <laughs> they've got all kinds of cooking pans um it's a nice little cake pan here for five dollars uh got a cupcake cupcake pan here for $4.50. I mean, these seem like some decent prices compared to what I've seen. I usually don't put stuff like this in the videos, but we're going to have to start looking at more and more of these things as we go to some grocery stores, mainly like Target and Walmart for these kind of things, because obviously that's going to be their competition here, which I can pretty much say that everything on this shelf is going to be cheaper here than Walmart. However, you start getting up into some of the pots and pans, I don't know. Here's a here's a two-piece saucepan, uh, fifteen dollars. Got a uh, a soup pan, five-quart Dutch oven for fifteen dollars. This looks pretty cool right here. We got an aluminum non-stick pan, saute pan, fifteen dollars. Like all, I mean, some of them are even cheaper. They don't have them, but um, yeah, you know, we've gotten a lot of comments on some cooking pots and pans and utensils lately so i wanted to point this out a little bit so they don't carry too much but they do have a lot of the clover valley spices we've been seeing that spices have kind of been going out the door in a lot of major grocery stores right now so it's good to see that they got a pretty good amount here they do have some mccormick's in i know we got some uh, pretty big mccormick's fans on the channel here looks like they got a good amount of salt hey they got bisquick right and it's not great value that's gotten the uh, the recall, the great value recall. Also, we just found out that Skippy Peanut Butter had a major recall, another recall, for metal fragments in the peanut butter. So check that out online. Not sure of the dates of, you know, because they always give you the dates of which ones was affected by the expiration date and stuff like that. So if you have Skippy Peanut Butter, make sure you check that out. Can't believe we're having another recall. They do have their Clover Valley sugar here. A couple cooking oil options. Um, three, three fifty. Okay, Crisco's on sale for three fifty for a forty-eight ounce uh, jug of it here. It is four ninety-nine at Kroger, so dollar fifty cheaper here on sale this week. Uh, we had more and more people asking about Splenda. Now this is fifty packs, two for five dollars. It was $4.99 at Meyer for 100 packs, which I said was really high, but a little similar here, but you can get the same amount for the same thing. They do have Sweet and Low, got a couple comments on that. We know that a lot of the artificial sugars have kind of been going out the door. 
we know that a lot of places across the country. We had this problem a couple months ago. Not so much now, but we're getting a lot of comments that you guys haven't been able to find it. So I try to always point these things out. So the regular price for Folgers here is $8.25. But it says free Clover Valley non-dairy creamer 10 ounce when you spend $10 on Folgers items. Okay, so you get a free non-dairy creamer when you spend over $10 of Folgers. That's cool. You know, always got to check the little sales here at Dollar General. This is something that, um, you know, we're going to have to look at more as prices continue to skyrocket. So I do notice that the Dunkin' Donuts for the 10-pack carrot cups is a little cheaper than we saw the other day. Uh, we've seen this as high as $9. Um, I've been finding it for $8.49. I think it was $8.49 at Kroger's the other day. Uh, just gotta have to look for the sales. Oh, and they do have some Folgers decaf there, five seventy-five. Decaf never really seems like it's on sale, but it is part of this deal. This is what I don't get. Maxwell House has always been like the cheaper coffee, the cheaper good coffee. Seven sixty-five for these twelve twelve pack of. Uh, I mean, I remember when these were four ninety-nine probably been about a year i'm not a huge fan of maxwell house but i know a lot of people on here are instantly save two dollars when you spend twelve dollars on all maxwell house coffee products so okay so if you bought two of these that would make this 665 that's a little better they definitely have a lot more food in the freezer than the last time we were here um some people were talking about like the anti-theft systems Select merchandise is tagged with alarming labels. Okay, so yeah, we've been seeing this, some of this stuff at Kroger's with some of the expensive meats. But yeah, the higher and higher, the higher and higher prices go up, the more and more of that kind of stuff we're probably gonna see. Um, they do have some fries here too. Fries and they got the steam fresh, uh, steam fresh mixed vegetables for a dollar of the bird's eye. That's cool. Uh, a lot of people have been asking about the bird's eye vegetables that you love the frozen vegetables well they have some they got the peas and the green beans all of them still for a dollar that's a good price I don't shop at dollar general much but i have never seen ground beef here <laughs> i didn't even know they sold ground beef 550 a pound for the 80 20 450 a pound for the 73 which yes seems high but i mean that's pretty much what it is in the grocery stores right now too uh let me know down below if you've ever tried any of this ground beef from Dollar General and how it is. Uh, we do see that they got a couple bags of the chicken nuggets, Tyson, that everybody always talks about. And they are $6.50 here, but we've been seeing that they've been going up everywhere. Somebody told me that Kroger's had just gone up to $6.99, and we saw at Walmart they were $6.42. There's a magic number going on at Walmart. Everything that was $5.99 seems like it's $6.42. Keep that in mind. And they have the Michelina meals for a dollar. We've been seeing these at $1.25 everywhere, including Dollar Tree. Still cheaper here. We got some comments on these. Everybody loves the macaroni and cheese, I guess. And um, the banquet pot pies, those are the same as pretty much everywhere else. The count, they actually have a few Marie Calendar pot pies here, though, for $3. We've been seeing those for $3.29 pretty much everywhere. Some things are a little more pricey, I guess. Um, like these Stouffer's bowls. I'm just happy to see that they have stuff in here. We've been in here before where these cases were empty. So at least they're getting some stuff in. But so down in the comments, we have been talking a little bit about the El Monterey chimichangas. Used to get these all the time, but yeah, they're the same price. Normally $5 here, but they've been $4.79 at a lot of different places. $4.75 here with their price cut. Um, you know, everything's going up, but I don't even, I mean, I like those, I do, but five dollars on them seems a bit much and they do have some of the tombstone pizzas two for nine dollars little pizza rolls they actually have a couple fridays sides tgi fridays 550 that seems a little much um they do have some of the hot pockets two packs of hot pockets uh two for six dollars now we've seen the major packs uh where they're bit you can get 10 up or 12 of them uh for 11.99 pretty much at Kroger or Walmart, so that makes them a dollar piece, a little cheaper. So I don't expect them to have much dairy. But I gotta say, even these aisles with the soda, the cold soda, and all this stuff, this was really empty the last time we were here. It's probably been a little over a month since we were at this Dollar General. We were at another Dollar General a few weeks ago that was completely wiped out. 
that's when I talked about coming to this one because this one's always a little bitter. I guess Clover Valley does have lactose-free milk. We've had a couple comments on some people that need the lactose-free. Um, $3.95 here. Too bad. I got the uh, silk, silk almond milk, $3.50 here. A lot of people have been talking about the silk almond. Also, I don't see the blue diamond almond milk here. But just glad to see that they have some. And, they, you know, they don't carry much orange juice, but they're getting it in. One thing I just noticed that these aren't refrigerated or anything. I guess you don't need to refrigerate them. But they have the silk almond, uh, the chocolate, and the vanilla. Dollar a piece of these single packs. And they have these... Uh, Pineapple juices, Del Monte pineapple juice. I've never seen this small can like this. We're gonna try it. One thing I will point out though is they have all this Starkist tuna still for a dollar. We've been seeing these go up as high as a dollar nineteen. We have seen some sales on it well, where they will sell five for five dollars at like Kroger or something, but still a dollar a piece here also for the solid white albacore, dollar fifty-five a can. So about the same as that is everywhere for that size of a can. But Chef Boyardee, they still have them for a dollar a can. We've seen that's gone up to a dollar twenty-five at Kroger. And look at this. SpaghettiOs, dollar a can. This has been a dollar fifty at Kroger. Let's see what the expiration is. February 16th, 2023. Okay, so not quite a year. Um but yeah, I would eat that before the year is up. There's a new one here. August 6, 2023. So yes, this would be the one to buy. This is the most fresh. Um, yeah, a dollar. I haven't seen it for a dollar a can anywhere. Two of the chunk white chicken breasts. Okay, I wanted to point this out. Let's see if it's the same size. The other one was... Okay, so these are 10 ounce cans. So a little less than the ones we saw at Meyer of the Swanson. $3.85 though for a two pack. 385. I mean, that's that's a pretty good amount, and that's pretty cheap. So um, I know I'm saying the answer in the comments a lot today, but yeah, let me know down in the comments if you have tried the Clover Valley Chunk White Chicken Breast. Let us know if it's any good. Dollar 25 for the Nor Pasta Sides. That's pretty much what it is everywhere, except for Meyer, who decided to raise theirs to a dollar 35. I don't know why that is, but these used to always be a dollar. Now they're $1.25, so they have raised their prices. However, the Idahoan potatoes, still a dollar here. Those have been anywhere from $1.19 to a dollar, most places $1.25. We also saw that Kroger's has their rice aroni on sale this week for $1.10 uh, for 10. Um, and they got the hamburger helper here for $1.85. That's, that's weird. That's the highest we've seen it. Um, Kroger's has a sale on it. Normally theirs is $2 a box, so Kroger's would be the highest probably. We saw it for $1.59 at Meijer, uh, $1.85 here. So kind of kind of in between. Uh, definitely if you need it, I mean, not worth going to another store and spending the gas if you ask me. But here we have some chunky, or wait, there's the chunky. Three for $5. That's a good deal. Uh, it's the best deal we've seen anywhere. Um, they've been... $2.59 a can at Kroger. Uh, Progressive has been $2.49 a can. Now we have seen some deals. Surprisingly, Target has been one of the better places. $1.98, $1.89, and it was $1.98 uh, Target for Progresso. But three for five dollars. So yeah, $1.66, $1.67 a can. That's the best deal we've seen. Um, and the dollar a can for the Campbell's Chicken Noodle. And this is 25% bigger. Uh, let's see, the normal is the 10.5 ounce cans that we get in the store. 13.8 ounce can. 12, or December 17, 2023. Well, yeah, that's good. That's a year and a half, almost. Year and a half. Cool. And, um, you know, we have noticed some things that have had, you know, less than a year expiration. But let's just pick out a random Progresso here. Uh, June 20th, 2023. So a little over a year for the Progresso, uh, for the Best Buy dates. Um, you know, oh, they got those Kitchen Classics too for a dollar. I love those. 
they don't carry much spaghetti but they do have the clover valley spaghetti for a dollar dollar here looks pretty good dollar fifty for the barilla and i wanted to point out they do have some egg noodles uh, we've had some comments that people have been having trouble finding egg noodles uh dollar 75 for this clover valley the the yolk free ribbons and they have the extra wide egg noodles here the enriched egg noodles for a dollar 25 these ones are a dollar 75 so a little more but at least they have them i gotta say i am most impressed with this dollar general the last time we were here they they didn't have half of this stuff and uh, they are getting a lot of the Clover Valley back in. Now, normally 75 cents a can, but they have them three for $2, so a little bit less. Um, and we got a lot of good comments the last time on the Clover Valley vegetables. So they do have Del Monte over here, too. A couple different cans, green beans and the corn. Dollar a can. Dollar a can. That is something to keep in mind because those have been $1.50. At Kroger, dollar thirty-two, I believe it was at Walmart. Um, yeah, yeah, and Van Camp's here. Just notice this. It's the kind of uh, the pork and beans that we use because Jessica usually dresses up our baked beans. Ninety-five cents here. We've seen this has gone up to a dollar nineteen at Kroger. So, yes, that is awesome. We're gonna have to start coming here. Been a lot of comments about broth lately. Uh, as you guys know, we get the Aldi version. Um, which is $1.25 for the four cups, 32 ounces. But I did want to point out, we got some Swanson lovers. Uh, it's $2.99 now. $2.99 at Kroger. $2.25 here. So you save 75 cents. Sometimes we'll see deals on it at Kroger, but we saw the other day they didn't. $2.99 is ridiculous. I thought $2.79 was ridiculous, and then they raised it up again. It is kind of funny how their cream of chickens, though, are $1.35. I would think that they would be a little bit cheaper, some of their condensed soups. I do like how the Clover Valley is put right next to here, though, for $0.90. Cents. But I will say that Aldi, we've gotten a lot of Aldi, even great value uh, cream of soups, way cheaper, way cheaper. I know the one at um, Aldi is $0.55, cents, which is up from $0.45, cents, but... Um, you know, and that could have gone up since the last time I went, but a lot cheaper at Aldi. We we like the Aldi uh, products. I forget what they're called, but they're really good. They're cream of soups. So something I did just notice is that they do have these little bags of cereal that we got a lot of comments on. Um, a lot of people like to buy these up for your kids uh, because they won't eat like a whole box of the cereal. They like. I completely understand that. This is a much bigger bag than the one that they have at Dollar Tree. For $1.25, this is a dollar. These are the smaller ones that they have at Dollar Tree now. And these are $1.25. This is about a bowl, one bowl for me, maybe a bowl and a half for you of cereal. <laughs> but this is a good, this right here is a good two bowls. I feel like this would be a good two bowls of cereal. They don't have much, and it does look a little pricey for their rice here, but at least they have an in. We've been seeing rice kind of going away again. Now they have their Clover Valley rice for $1.65, minute, the Minute White Rice, which we get a lot of comments on, uh, $2.65, so a dollar more, but um, you know, some bagged rice, some bagged beans down here. They got the Northern Beans, which people have been having trouble finding. I do notice that the cereal has gone up here from the last time I had been a Dollar General, but they do have a deal, buy three, save a dollar. So if you buy three, you know, buy one that is on the Kellogg's. This is, um, I guess it's all Kellogg's, assorted varieties. So you could get three different boxes of cereal and save a dollar, which would bring the price down to what it was normally, again, at $2.99. But they did go up to $3.25. But, yeah, they make it to where if you buy three of them, you're still getting the same price. That's what I like to see. That's kind of, you know, what's been upsetting with Kroger in a lot of places lately is that prices have gone up so much and then you save 50 cents on something, you're not even getting it for what the price was a week ago sometimes. So they do have a lot of these golden harvest jars, mason jars. I will say though, we got a lot of terrible comments on these. People were saying that the lids don't work and stuff like that. Just, I don't know, I wanted to point them out. Food and stuff might not be the best option. I know ball, ball mason jars are really the best option. Um, but, you know, they do have them. I don't see a price anywhere. One thing I know a lot of people have trouble with, and I don't know if they would fit the ball jars 
and might work better on the ball jars. Not really sure, but they do sell the 12 lids here. But again, no price, so I don't know. I don't know what they are. Well, you can tell it's springtime in here. They got a lot of springy life. Oh, look at this. Oh, a little Mickey flower. I believe that is fake. Yes, that is so fake. Cool looking though. Jess would like it. We've had a lot of comments on gardening and different gardening tools and stuff. I gotta say, they have some here. They got some hoses. You can water your flowers or vegetables or whatever it is. All kinds of different sprayers. Uh, and they have the prices on the things here. This looks like a pretty heavy duty sprayer. And it's actually heavy too. $12.50. Got your little spray bottles here. Got your little uh, bypass pruners. Nice to have. These must sell because there's only two left. And they got the little uh, the little hedge trimmers there. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. Lots of cool stuff. Got some different outside options here. Got a little seed starter. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. Got some little fencing here. Got these little bags of bird food here, too. Some wild finch blend. We usually get the welcome blend because that's kind of like for all birds. They got the no waste blend. That's the one you should probably get. They won't waste any fruit, nut, and berry blend. It's a little cheaper. If you just want something quick to grow in your house, you can just set it outside and bring it in whenever. You will have to get bigger pots eventually, but this will get you started. Get you on some little mini tomatoes here. I don't know if that's cherry tomatoes. I don't believe, yeah, maybe they are cherry tomatoes. I don't know, $3 already in the soil, ready to go. Put a little water on it, put it in front of the sun. I got some basil, cucumber. Again, you'll have to add the tomatoes into it. Once they get about two or three feet high, you'll have to get a bigger, bigger pot, but that'll get you started. They have a really good like automobile section here got all your oil fluids all that kind of stuff you know it's nice to have this kind of stuff so it's like yeah it might be the same price as what you would get at walmart or something but if you're coming here for some of the food options and that kind of stuff put this kind of stuff down on your list take a look at it see what you might need in the future um you know five dollars for a big roll of duct tape you know i mean it may not be the best deal i'm not really sure but they have it here, and it, it's it's nice to have a lot of different options. They definitely have way more toilet paper than they had the last time we were here, for sure. And they still have these 12 family rolls. They're not very big. Um, $5, though, for a 12-pack. I mean, of Angel Soft. We got a lot of people that, on the channel that like Angel Soft, so wanted to show this deal. And they do have others. They've got, uh, well, this seems like a pretty decent deal. Cottonelle family pack. Now these aren't the mega rolls, which you'll see at like Kroger and stuff, but do they, I don't even know if Kroger sells these. I don't think so, especially not for $5. Instantly save $4 when you spend $20 on Scott Viva Cottonelle or Kleenex brands. That's awesome. Always check these sales. Always, always look at the sticker and see what sales going on. So they got a lot of storage bins here, a lot of totes. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a ton of them. I like this Dollar General. They seem to be getting in a lot of good stuff. Uh, the prices seem fair. Some things have gone up. Some things are way cheaper. Uh, it's nice to have an extra option. And I can see why a lot of our viewers have been shopping at Dollar General lately. This place is awesome. I am back from Dollar General. I got to say, guys, it looked really good in there. One issue I had was I bought a couple of the cans of SpaghettiOs. I thought for a dollar... Might as well get a couple cans, never know when we want a quick snack. We quit buying them because we're, we're not going to spend $1.50 for a can of those. It's just, that's too much. But they came up $1.25. They went back, they checked it, it still said a dollar. So there may be some other items in there that are, uh, that may be going up that they haven't got to yet. But I noticed that they were training a new employee uh, and they had a few employees there. It was good to see. There was a, it was a good atmosphere. A lot of people in there shopping. And um, just a lot of good deals on products. But I hate when I see that come up on the register that something is the wrong price. But that is something that... This is why I say that we have to check everything that comes up on the registers to make sure that we're getting it for the, the sale that they put on the stickers. A store that is another option. Because in a world to where prices are skyrocketing, 
shelves are being wiped out. You know, we're losing a lot of products in the stores. We're, we're seeing a lot of stuff missing. Seems like they they did a good job of filling their store back up from the last time we were there. And really nice people working there, too. Um, really enjoyed today. Uh, it was nice to go into a store where the shelves were pretty much full. There were some there were some holes with some other things that I didn't get on camera because I was I was excited to just see a lot of stuff for decent prices. That three for eleven for the for the pop the soda, uh, that's the best deal we've seen on pop in a while. The three twelve packs for eleven dollars. Now, you guys will be seeing this video today, so maybe if you get to Dollar General today, you'll get that deal. But uh, it was nice to also get that $5 off coupon, which is only good until the following Saturday. So I will have to use it tomorrow if me and Jessica decide to go back uh, to use it, which I may or may not. We're kind of busy this weekend. But anyway, great day at Dollar General. Really enjoyed it. With all that being said, until tomorrow, I am out. And always remember, the adventure is out there.